Rolling. One take one. One take one. All right, girls. Hello, good morning. Did you turn the air off? I turned it down. <laughs> oh my gosh. I did get a second microphone back there, so hopefully there's great audio throughout the entire car, but welcome back to another episode of The Sip. I'm Ryland Adams, of course, joined by... Elizabeth Home Okay. We also have my husband Shane Dawson and Christopher Breitinger. Uh, Breitinger. Breitinger? Yeah. Okay, what are we doing? I don't know. We just finished doing something pretty dramatic and okay. scary and crazy. I'm just going to say it. We're not, I'm not going to say what it is. But we were just filming a conspiracy video that was supposed to be kind of funny and kind of a joke. And then the reveal happened. <laughs> and I think we're getting sued slash changing the world. And I was like, I don't know if you should be posting this when we're about to have kids. Like, I don't want to be going through it. Well, you'd be going through this a This is like a Charles E. Cheddar moment. I changed the name up. Oh, I was like, who the fuck is Charles E. Cheddar? Do you think that they're going to come for Lizzie and Chris, too? I can't afford that right now. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm financially ruined after a summer of Taylor Swift. Right. I'm trying to build back. Right. Wow. Okay, well, I thought it would be fun today for us to try. It's finally out. The long-awaited pumpkin frosty at Wendy's. Oh. By the way, I'm such a good husband. I put this on my calendar for you. <gasps> oh. Thank you. The Frosty release? Mm -hmm. That's so cute. It, it seems crazy that it took them this long to get to this point. It you feels know? like they were dragged to the party. And yeah. I, I wonder if it's going to become a staple or if it's going to be so bad that it's going to be a one and done type thing for the rest of forever. Is it going to be like a chocolate flavored pumpkin? I have, have you watched any of the reviews, Shane? No. Uh, I, I, Didn't it come out today? It, well, Shane was telling me there were, apparently it released early. It came out, it, it leaked last night. Oh. <laughs> Literally leaked. Also, Yuck. side note, the fact that Lizzie isn't like cosplaying as Wendy right now is crazy. Whoa! Uh, wait, you kind of are with the dress. I yeah. was going to say this is my apple picking. What, uh, what, is her, what is her look? Should I take Pigtails. my cardigan off? Pigtails. <laughs> braid these, braid these hairs, Chris. <laughs> Make yourself know. useful. I don't know how. Oh, great. I don't know. You don't know how to braid? Who are, are you? Are you gay? Oh. You Crap. guys know how to braid hair? Uh, yes. Of course they do. Both of you? I, yes. We braid our own hair on the couch sitting next to each other. You didn't braid your mother's hair on a Sunday morning? I don't think my mom's ever braided her hair. Wow. She needs to live. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so besides the pumpkin spice frosty, what's the plan? Like, do we have a topic for today? I feel like we should think of like a, like a topic for the episode. I mean, it's spooky season. Mm. It's getting, coming up to Halloween. You couldn't be more bored. <laughs> I know. I couldn't be more bored myself. Halloween's my favorite holiday. Oh, just getting good. Now. Oh, I guess something spooky happened to Chris last night. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, so okay, I was in. <laughs> also, you scared me because you texted the both of us about it and then Shane's like, what happened? No response. What like, happened? he's dead. He's in the barn dead. Wait, you thought I, I said you did nothing? No, I, I didn't see it until I woke up this morning, but even if I had, I probably would have let it be out there. I didn't think you were. Oh my god. I didn't think you were dead. <laughs> sure. but, I just didn't think it was my problem at that specific time of day. I was watching a vlog of somebody going to Oogie Boogie, uh, you know, at, at oh. Disneyland. I couldn't right. miss that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bring us in, Chris. So I went to sleep earlier, and then at around one in the morning, this like something goes off. I don't know what it was, but I was fully asleep, and it felt like something screaming in my ear. But it was like it must have just been a speaker malfunctioning, and it was like something about devices not being connected. But it was like your devices are not connected. But it like yelled it in my ear and I violently woke up and I was like <gasps> and my heart was like racing and I looked around and didn't see anything and I was like where did that even come from like the TV's way over there and I'm like trying to find a speaker and I'm like very confused I mean I don't want to scare you but there's no speakers out there no don't say that is there there has to be there's a TV yeah. there's the TV yeah. but that's in another room that's what I'm saying it though it sounded like it was right next it to me it is across the it's like in the family room area there isn't a speaker where you're sleeping see oh. it was right next to me and that's the messed up part and it no went, are you serious I swear to you but I will say even if it was the speaker from the TV the first thing ghosts mess with are electronics or lights that's true but is also why would a ghost be like your devices are not connected I feel like that's not speaking. yeah <laughs> it's true I mean it could have been a metaphor but it just like it maybe it's just malfunctioning your battery's about to run out 
but that <laughs> oh you scared me I was like not right now <laughs> I thought so too and I was like oh no Rylan's gonna be so mad <laughs> I know I feel like Rylan are you uh, right before we started uh, filming I feel like you kind of snapped to me yeah like, I was on edge fight? because oh, they, I heard you say switch seats with, with me Rylan. Chris said switch with Rylan. and yeah. they both heard switch with Rylan and then I was pissed off because I have the podcast set up and I was like I don't want to mess up all of the everything Okay. And I didn't know why you couldn't just be back there. Because I wanted me to do the reveal and Chris to be next to me. Okay, and I got over it pretty fast, did I not? No. no. <laughs> oh, it was the whole time we were the sitting in here time. too, Shane, and he said he hated us for hearing you right. And, it, and it's fine because it made the video better because you were like angry <laughs> and you were taking your anger out like on me, on them, and that was great, but... Well, I was also mad because, well, I'm not, I wasn't mad at Chris, but... Chris was like, okay, I'm gonna come up. And then, like, five minutes later, I was like, where the fuck is Chris, Lizzie? <laughs> and I look outside, and he's just standing at my door, and I was like, what are you doing? I was waiting. I was like, oh, maybe he's sending But a it's because I heard you wrong. <laughs> we should go to church. There's I'm a church so right chill. Here. I need church, church right now. Wait, but by the way, for the rest of the night, every time I try to go to sleep, I would have a dream that there was a person standing outside the door, like, right there where that window is to the room. Do you know what I mean? I, like, saw a, um, like, man with a painted white face smiling. Wow. And I would wake up every hour on the I mean, that is why Lizzie will not go sleep out there. <laughs> no, I would never sleep out there. Not in a million fucking years. <laughs> but it's pretty cute. Oh my gosh, they have it. Wow, like the promotion it right of it. The window. Wow. And not enough people are here to enjoy it. It looks like she has a little radioactive beanie on. Oh my god, look at her. And two for three breakfast items? I've never had Wendy's breakfast. I bet it Live sucks. it up. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I bet really? it goes hard. It, Wendy's is like a luxury fast food. Thing. I haven't had Wendy's in a very, very long time. Should we get the chili and see if there's a burger in it? I don't it? trust that chili. <laughs> oh, I do that trust chili. that chili. Yeah, I get that I chili. chili. You know what chili is, right, Lizzie? It's yesterday's hamburgers chopped up. Shh, they can hear us. Oh, well, I can ask them. <laughs> No, don't. No. Choose your buddies. What I'll can leave, I get for I'll you? Uh, could I please get four small pumpkin frosties? And a chili. Absolutely. What else could I do for you? Could I get a medium chili? A medium? Uh, we only have small or large options. Yeah. Oh, small is good. Large. Oh, large. I'm sorry, large. More chili. Uh, a large? Okay. And, any breakfast items? And would you like any cheese or onion? Any cheese or onions? No. Uh, no thanks. I want really chili. Chili. What else could I do for you? That's all. All right. Would you like to donate a dollar for an option? Sure. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. You're welcome. That's that was gonna be 15.96 at the window. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The dollar's not gonna help anybody. She offered a dollar, if so I said yes. Donated a dollar, it would make Did she say sense. the first or the second one? Sorry. Window. Also, I didn't want cheese because I want to see the burger better. Sorry, uh, Lizzie. Mm -hmm. And I this just is an investigation. Thought, oh. <laughs> oh no. Also, the way they were scared of you during my hypothetical fight with you. <laughs> Do you like a drink carrier? Uh, I'm okay. Just for the record, it's not that we were scared of him. Thank you. It was, the, it's the energy shift of being near a couple of fighting that we're scared of. <laughs> Wait, what's happening? <laughs> well, no, I was saying when I didn't get out of the driver's seat, they were acting like we were all getting, that's what really made me mad. They were acting like you were this god, <laughs> and that if I didn't move, the world was going to end, and they were like freaking out about it. Wait, I just didn't want to not get, get the shot. The yeah, I needed oh, the shot. We, I also didn't understand. <gasps> we got a boo book. From Ooh. DC. What is that? I don't know. Oh, that sounds spooky. Thank you. Oh my god, the chili. Thank you. Wow. <gasps> Thank you. That is so cute. I need you to know the last couple of videos have been Thank my dream you. come true. Um, could we get or the straws in here? Shane? And spoons. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nice. My whole day so much better. Hi, nice That's to right. meet I you. Be right <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've been your fan since I was like 11. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Can I yeah. Can we like go to the door real quick? Yeah, we'll, t we'll park over here oh, somewhere. Okay. okay, let me find some light. Okay, let's open her up. I'm so excited. I feel like I love that it doesn't look chocolatey. It like. Am I supposed yeah. to go take yeah, a picture? Yeah, I think you're supposed to get no, out. No, she's going to come. Picture. She said she's going to come out here. To the door. She did? Yeah. She you said, hear things that aren't happening. <laughs> crazy. Okay, that well, crazy? I can't yeah, let this melt. She's gonna, got, she didn't say that. She's didn't. gonna find us. She said, I'll, I'll she go to the door. the door. Oh, there she is. Yeah. She's coming. Okay. She's coming. Don't take a bite without I me. I can't let this melt. Oh, oh I have to wait. <laughs> this is worst case. I mean, thank you. Thank you for supporting, but like, this is right, worst case the worst. Can you not? <laughs> wow, this is gonna melt. Honestly, it smells like shit to me. It well, smells like pumpkin. But you just hate pumpkin. I we like know pumpkin, this. you bitch ass. Well, you hate everything. Like, can't fight me or tell me how to feel. I can't stand letting this melt. I just can't stand it. <laughs> but you haven't liked any of the pumpkin. I liked the blizzard thing the yesterday. One, the one. You're a pumpkin, pumpkin hater. Wow, imagine I go to Chris's place of work and I tell him how to feel. <laughs> 
<laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. He's just telling me how I feel right now, and he's wrong. <laughs> Am I wrong that she hasn't liked any of the pumpkin? No, things? I told her yesterday you're a pumpkin hater. <laughs> I like the you, blizzard. You, oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. I'll but you, you that. said that was I like pumpkin pie. Like I don't like these artificial fucking soapy ass coffee things. Oh, here. Yeah. I'm tasting it. <laughs> Lizzie. <laughs> I don't hate it. Today's podcast is sponsored by Stitch Fix. And wouldn't it be great if we all had the right wardrobe to match our evolving lifestyle? Whether you're picking up a new activity, looking for maternity wear, or simply bored of your old clothing choices, the stylists at Stitch Fix make sure you always have something to wear. I used Stitch Fix before they ever sponsored this podcast. And so I'm so excited that they jumped on board because it is the best way to shop for new styles and brands. You can think of Stitch Fix as your style partner. Your stylist will learn about your tastes and collaborate with you on looks you'll love without breaking the bank. You simply share your style, your sizes, and your budget with a quick style quiz, and Stitch Fix sends you five items in a fix right to your door. With your choices in mind and sizes from extra small to 3XL, the stylists at Stitch Fix will find your perfect fit. You try on everything at home, keep what you like, and send back the rest. Shipping and returns are always free. They have over a thousand brands and styles, so no matter what season of life you're in, Stitch Fix has you covered. You can simply order a refresh as needed or set it and forget it with regular fixes. You're in complete control. Over time, Stitch Fix and their seasoned style experts will match you with greater precision to perfect pieces for you based on your likes and dislikes. It's so easy. Shopping for clothing is something I truly don't enjoy. So handing it off to an expert and just having it arrive at my door is incredible. And I'm telling you, I have pieces from Stitch Fix that I got three years ago that I'm still wearing to this day. So thank you, Stitch Fix, for getting me and they will get you too. So try it today at stitchfix.com slash sip and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. Try it today at stitchfix.com slash sip and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.com slash sip. Today's podcast is sponsored by SeatGeek and you know I'm always looking to find the best deal on any tickets. I went to Taylor Swift a couple of times and of course found my tickets on SeatGeek and Lizzie just executed on tickets for Olivia Rodrigo that she's so excited about. And with over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. And that's because there are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. With artists like the Jonas Brothers, Big Time Rush, Drake, and Beyonce all on tour, you are not going to want to miss out. And the great part about SeatGeek is that they put all the tickets from across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a great deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, so look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. And every single ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. And you know SeatGeek came through for all of you guys. You can use our code SIP, S-I-P, for $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code SIP, and make sure you click the link in our description section below to download their fantastic app. Oh my gosh, they were okay. both so sweet. She broke her arm by falling off the bed. Yeah. Oh my god. No. That's right, iconic, that's do. iconic. Okay, we've got to try this because it's melting. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, let's try so it all for the first time. Really, I think it's- all Wait, you guys tried it? Not me. I hate not you. Me. Not me. Not me. All right, <laughs> cheers. Mm. Wow, I love it. I love it. Wow. You actually? <laughs> no. <laughs> I love it. Hmm. Ooh, I don't like it. Spicy. You don't like it? Well, it's pumpkin spice. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> The beginning of it is good, and then it starts to taste mm. like a like a handful of cloves. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate no, it. No, I think the pumpkin. But I love them. They were so sweet. They were so sweet. But the, this is disgusting. The pumpkin spice lattes are more hairspray tasting than this. Uh huh. These. This is actually pretty good. I'm almost done with mine. Are you? Are you really? Such a pumpkin. No, she's person. shoving it down and being nice so that we don't hate on her. Okay. Help. Wait. What do you mean? They always be hating on me. Who? She doesn't like pumpkin. The whole things. audience does. Why? Well, when Chris is involved. If Chris has a camera on him, they hate her. Wait, why? Yeah. What does that mean? Because you're mean to Chris. I am not! Oh, no. But you're mean to him because you love him and it's, it's so just, funny. I'm advocating for no. Chris to Chris. It's hard to take Lizzie's side when Chris, when Lizzie's so abrasive. Right. And Chris, it's like, you gotta feel for him no matter what when Lizzie's in the room. I think it's the way that you're mean to me. As well, she's me to Chris. And we but love no, each other and they love each other. But I'm like screaming, Chris, it stop just... drowning yourself. <laughs> like, Chris, don't eat that fucking rat poison. They're like, she's such a bitch. <laughs> and I'm like, no. They, they, they'll come 
around. It took him a while for me and Shane too. But here, I'll fine. share my my frosty with him. Put that in your fucking mouth, Chris. Put it in your fucking <laughs> mouth, Chris. <laughs> okay, now I want to see if the chili has a burger in it. Well, I love this. Mm. Well, it does. It has burger. Well, no, but yesterday's burger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and you're your gonna phone? know the difference. And then I yes. want to try and return the chili. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do your phone. Oh yeah, can you record it or do I have to? You. I wanted to eat. I'm recording. Against my will. See, this is why I needed a straw so I could slurp this while I'm filming this. Okay, I don't, there's no full cheeseburger in here, but that is definitely cheeseburgers, right? Ground up. Does it taste like cheeseburger? I can taste it. I'll taste I mean, it. technically uh -huh. all chili has ground meat, beef in it. Okay, let me try it. So at 11 a.m.? Really yes, at 11 a.m. It's lunchtime, babe. I love their chili. <laughs> Get it. Why well, I just don't. You're shaking. Yeah, you're like, are you that excited about it? Oh. It's so burning hot. my tongue, fuck! Um, wow. You hot. honestly kind of deserve it, but now we're even. Now my whole day is going to be ruined. Oh, no. Here, Chris, do you want the chili? <laughs> have, <laughs> have, that's what a good friend does. He doesn't want... <laughs> I gotta go. At least I can cool myself down with this. I'm getting a call from the FBI. <laughs> Do you guys want to get into some questions? Wait, some what bubbles. else is like, so I'm not like in the SIP comments, because that would be weird. Uh, Lizzie and I aren't either. We glance for about two seconds and then we're like, more because they, th they still hate us? No. Got it. <laughs> Moving on. So what's like, yeah, what are like the, we should debunk them, because they all have theories probably, it's right? It's hard like, to debunk oh. though, because they just say I'm why too much Why don't you just open the last comment right. section? I'm a lot, so find less. What, do you want to open the last comment section, Shane? No, that's mean. Yeah. I want to hear about it, but I don't want to read well, it. Well, I started doing that once on the phone with Lizzie, and it was really funny. Was <laughs> it? <laughs> Because I was having a good day before you made me do that. <laughs> I would say our podcast comments, so I, I look for the first like hour or two, and then it starts to get mean, so I stop looking. But I would say mm. the majority of people, they think that um, Ryland, you, they love you on, on mine. They do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do have to say Ryland is great on the Shane Dawson I would podcast. say yeah. most people are pretty nice to me all over comment sections from videos we post. They used to think that I was like being really rude to Ryland by flirting with Chris, but that's just like, you know, Lizzie's mean to Chris. Like I try to like harass Chris. Like that's our thing, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I don't do it as much. I think it's cause we're having kids. I think we need to oh. reframe me being mean to Chris. <laughs> I right. think we need to, we, we're rebranding that. Okay. Uh, no, I would say sometimes you're just on edge and you take it out at me as equally as you're on it. Do you know how hard I'm trying right now? I mean to you too. <laughs> you, just, you, you put yourself in my seat without having to reset your seat. Here's, here's the thing though. I've defended don't, you so many times. Don't you guys have friends who are like mean to each other and that's love? That's us. No, and that is a lot of our comment section is about like. People how, think I'm mean to you on, on our podcast. Yeah, and that's that's like a bit thing that you do, I would say, more than real life. What? Okay, I just didn't know where you're going with that. You're supposed to be like, I know, and you're so nice to me, Shane. Like, why would they say that? <laughs> you're the one that's tried to capitalize on having a podcast about us fighting. Uh, right. Uh, true. That's true. Oh, have you guys done another episode of Fights with Shane and Ryland? No. No, we need to do soon. We got our first uh, ad. <gasps> I no know. Way. Do, oh, we, yeah. do we want to give a preview? We still need to promote that show. Well, I didn't know if we were going to do it anymore. Because <laughs> well, now we have an ad. We've got we kind to. of forgot about it. But now, yeah, we have an ad, so we really should do it. But also, we need to. It's been, it's been too long. So if you want to listen to our audio podcast, that's really just Shane and I late at night on our couch debriefing our fights. It's, uh, it can be listened to on Shane's audio platform. I'll put it in the description section below. What was our latest fight? Let's give him a taste of the podcast. <laughs> Did we fight? <laughs> um, wait, we did have a fight the other day. About what? What was it about? I can't remember. And you got like weird, and then you tried to pretend like we didn't have a fight, and you were like, where did you go? I missed you. Oh. And I was like, you were just being an asshole to me. What was I an asshole about? <laughs> Something. Well, no, we've got to remember. This is boring for them. I don't know that it is. It is, because I remember what it's about and it sucks. You don't want to oh, tell me? Well, now I need to know. I forgot something in LA that he needed. Oh. And you know who suffered for that, right? No, no, no. This is more All recent. Of us. Chris, Chris had to go to the house and pick up what he had okay, forgotten. Let me explain. It was the second time. Let me explain. Okay. So, okay. So, so it was Chris's headset microphone thing. I'm not easy going. Let's preface okay. by that. <laughs> they know. So when we were packing in LA to leave, he goes, did you grab the microphone? I assumed he meant a microphone. And I was like, oh no, let me grab it. So I packed the microphone. We get back to Colorado, weeks go by. So he doesn't check, he doesn't give a fuck, right? Until the night before when he needs it. And he goes, where's the headset? And I was like, 
I don't know. It must be in LA. I'm like, you didn't pack it? And he, you're supposed to pack it. I'm like, he's like, if, I told you. He, no, I said, no, you told me. This is the principle. a microphone. And I did. And you didn't say get the headset. Those are two very different things. So last things. time, the last time this ha had happened, he had forgotten the podcast. Okay, hold on. He had, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> now I'm being mean to everyone. Now I'm the Lizzie. <laughs> Thanks a lot. What did he After say you said before? you don't like backseat conversations. Oh my god. I just would like to point out that earlier, instead of reacting like that, I just said I'm trying so hard right now. Okay. Let me take a deep breath. The last time Shane had forgotten a camera, this time it was Chris's headset mic. And so my principle is if you take things that are mine from the Colorado house to California, you need to bring them back. That seems like it makes sense, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> Whatever so, yeah. you say. I had a mini meltdown. Shane solved it. Asked Chris to go get it. Chris said, great. And he did it. Here's my thought. And then if he ran away is... from me. He came back and I was like, where were you? I missed you. <laughs> and I was like, I left you because you were being mean to me and I didn't want to fight. And so I was I like, okay. Also, I, do, yeah. I do like that at like 5 a.m. Ryland will wake up and be like, maybe I should walk that back. <laughs> <laughs> I always come around to when I was mean, but I yeah. don't... Oh, there was another fight we got oh. into. Oh, that, that's what it was. So we had, we got into a fight about, honestly, I don't really remember. We were in with your family in a cabin in the woods and <laughs> we got into a fight at night, just the two of us. Mm. And then, and then you realize you needed me to help you make a thumbnail <laughs> for the podcast. <laughs> and so we were fighting, right? And then you were like... No, then I pulled out my no. camera, then I pulled out my computer, and I started making the thumbnail. Which is never going to happen. Well, no, I make the thumbnails for the sit-down ones. The car ones are the ones that I need help with because they're a lot more, I've like... I've made the thumbnails for almost pretty much all of them. The podcast? Yes. No. Go through it. You want me to? Let's, no, uh, let's, find, let's find a thumbnail. <laughs> you have it. <laughs> the I know. That one of the when he does that, you know you're doing something wrong. <laughs> okay, one of the questions I got, because I posted an Instagram story, like, what do you want to know? They were like, how do you divvy up, like, the household and what you guys do? And it is like, you are more of the creative than I am. And yes, you help me with thumbnails, but I help manage our houses. Your eyebrows are shaking. Because I realized I said houses, and that's really horrible. <laughs> He's a relatable king. <laughs> but it's not easy. It's not an easy task with seven alpacas, three dogs, two cats. The only reason I make your thumbnails is because when I don't, and I see, and I love you, but when I see those hideous thumbnails pop up on my homepage, <laughs> and I know that people are not clicking on it because it's hideous, I my heart breaks for you, and I'm like, I gotta fix this. Oh my gosh. And I don't know if it, because you can do it, but I think you do it, you know, okay, it's like this. You know when you, like, don't do the dishes because you want the other person to do the dishes? Or or maybe you do the I dishes. I always do the do, dishes. Hold on. You do the dishes badly so that you don't get asked to do them again? I've never done that, but... <laughs> I feel like you make bad thumbnails so that I'll be like, okay, let me just do it. Okay, but at least I do edit all my vlogs myself. True. Like, uh, I, uh, oh, please, when's the last uh, time you've jumped into a vlog edit? You edit? Have editors. Sometimes. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is not a great look. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying out editors before we have a baby so that I can I keep on going Whoa. after we have babies. You and we lot. did finally find... Um, a duo you that do. has been doing good. Back to the oh, fight. You did? Okay. Back mm -hmm. to the fight. So, um, so all right. So he's over there pretending to work on his laptop, all angry and frustrated. And I don't know, like, just give me the laptop. He just hands me the laptop. Doesn't say sorry or anything, right? For the fight, I make a thumbnail. That's honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not just like sucking my own dick. It was a good thumbnail. Like, I really went in on the pumpkin spice thumbnail. Well, it's because we were fighting. It's like you were like, I have to prove this motherfucker <laughs> wrong. No, I, I always go in, but I no, love your pumpkin thumbnails spice. are great. So I made this pumpkin spice thumbnail. Really popped off. I hand him the the laptop of the thumbnail. And he just turns off the lights. <gasps> no, the I liked it. He sent it. You sent it to me in a text form. <laughs> I loved it. And turns off the lights. And I'm Thumbs still on my it. computer. And I'm like, okay, I haven't shut my computer yet. Now it's dark. <laughs> I get to bed. He doesn't say anything. Then around like four in the morning, he just is like, I love you. I mean, like it was a little hours. more than I love you, but okay, that's well, what the... was it? Let's get into some details. That's the piece. you like that chili. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I woke him up with a nice gesture. Oh. Uh -huh. Like you tipped your hat? Yeah. And honestly, I tipped him. <laughs> and honestly, I would rather you in the moment have been like, that is a good pumpkin spice thumbnail than a blowjob. 
Last night he offered to suck your dick to make my thumbnail. <laughs> and then what he said, he's like, just make yourself look horrible. And I was like, okay. And then I did it. He went, wow, you really did make yourself look horrible. <laughs> At least I'm you this episode. <laughs> I, I do so. also get a lot of comments of like, you need to change it up. This you need to get guests that aren't your Can family. You cover the chili; it stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna eat some of it, it but fine. It stinks. Are we gonna go try something else? Yeah, uh, yeah. We're do, 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 Should do, we go to Dutch Brothers and try some of their things? Okay, before we go there, because we can't talk. It's hot. We can't. Here, you can turn. I it need up air. Little. I need air, ladies. We, uh, sorry, headphone users. We I can't talk <laughs> while we drive, just because it's awful. we can't. Oh, the best thing that about having the audio podcast with me and him is now all week I can when he starts talking about something I don't care about I can go save for the save for the podcast. <laughs> Save for the podcast. Now they're Loki offended. Yeah, he says that to me all day. <laughs> and then guess what? Does that stuff ever come up on the podcast? No. Nope. No. You're right, Shane. Mm -hmm. Wow. You yep. say that every time I talk. Yep. <laughs> That's different, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this person says, do you still want a wedding party celebration with your friends and family? Nope. Wait, I wasn't listening. Do you still want a wedding party or celebration? Oh, fuck no. Yeah. No, we're over it. We're over the wedding. We're having babies. We're steaming right past it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And like, sorry, family, if you wanted to celebrate us, celebrate us somewhere else. No. Mm -hmm. Celebrate us in your own time. It's just not for me, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know? No. I just don't care. Who cares? Um, somebody said the moon is allegedly a true map of the earth and reflects our real land. Okay. No, I like that. Have that's you heard about it? No, that's interesting though. I like that. Okay. Will you dress the twins the same, matching like Mary Kate and Ashley Sometimes. style? Yes. Sometimes. And Lizzie the other day was like going through our new buys, and she was like, "Well, why is there only one?" And I was like, "Well, they can only match half the time." I will yeah. do anything for you to hold that phone at a different place. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's happening? Oh. He just keeps glaring it right at oh. me. After this one, we'll head to Dutch Brothers. Okay. Lizzie plays fuck Mary kill for the boys in the Tesla. <gasps> oh. Wait, what? I'm too insecure for this. Ah, no, it's okay, it, Shane. No, it's not like smash or pass. It's just yes, fuck, it marry, is. kill. I'm fucking Shane. I'm killing Rylan, and I'm marrying Chris. No, you would never. You're only no. doing that to get the audience back on this side. Is this is performative. This is performative. She would marry me hands down. Never would I ever marry you. You're <laughs> dead. <laughs> If I would have been straight, Lizzie and I would have been married. And you would still be dead. But I love Shane so much. Aww. Honestly, Lizzie, I know that's like a joke, but I could cry thinking about you wanting to fuck me. Aww. I could cry. Well, you it's know how she said found comfort yesterday when we were eating out? <laughs> what did you say? I don't want to repeat no, it. please repeat it. Elizabeth, you have to. I'm sick, Shane, and you're going to know how sick I am. No, I want it. Sometimes I think you and I look a lot alike. And Maybe so that you? comforts yeah. her in that I chose you because if she feels like, like me. had I been straight, <laughs> it would have been her. Ginger, freckles, <laughs> light we eyes, right? Light eyes. We're both we super funny. That's right. So you just want to fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> it's why Thomas Jefferson's my favorite. Where are you going? President. I'm going to do what I need to do with this chili. Are you right. going to go drink it over the trash? Wait, can? no, we're going to talk about you while Did you, you eat. Did you stop oh, in the okay. middle of the gas station we're parking lot? Lizzie? Get within a Tesla? I hate when you do this. He, he does, does this every little time. time. He will stop on a live street in the middle of the street and be like, this is in the middle of the street. Cars are honking. Put all of us in danger. Oh, he's back. <laughs> <laughs> is Shane HR? Here you go. Please don't get us. <laughs> but like of all the spots to stop. Look. <laughs> oh, somebody's mad at him. Weird. <laughs> You guys are such squares. <laughs> well, I love you guys, and I'm so happy that we all get to spend time together weekly. You know what? We're so grateful for everything that you do to keep us together on a weekly basis. I really, I, we really are. Yes. No, you deserve more credit. I'm going to give you more credit right now because mm. I feel like I don't give it to you enough. Okay. Publicly. Um, <laughs> you really have... Ca I cannot believe you guys have been doing this podcast every week for so long. I could never. I would fucking kill myself. There no. <laughs> <laughs> but like the okay. amount of effort it takes to put this together, to fly everybody out, to do all this, to edit, because you edit the podcast, yeah. you do everything. The fact that they all work their schedules around it. Like you guys really do bring this together and I'm proud of you And all. that's why Thank I think you. when people are like, change it up or give it a facelift. I'm like, to get this out every week, I know like we could scale it down and maybe get guests and stuff, but that's never been what the core Honestly, of this podcast is. Honestly, guests are boring. I mean, I love the guests we've had on our <laughs> podcast because they're like friends. But like when you're trying to do the celebrity guest thing, it's so boring and, and then, they don't want to talk about anything interesting and they all have PR agents who are like sitting off to the side being like, whoa, 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 don't no, say no, that. No, no, no. And then yeah. all I want to do well, is turn to them and go, nobody gives a fuck about 
got you, bitch! Today's podcast is sponsored by DoorDash, and I know you've been there. You're missing the syrup for your pancakes, or you just ran out of your favorite coffee creamer first thing in the morning. Well, with DoorDash grocery delivery, you can get what you want right when you need it. I know you've trusted DoorDash to deliver your restaurant favorites, and now you can get grocery delivery that actually delivers too. With thousands of grocery stores to choose from, you'll find the best in your neighborhood while also boosting your local economy with each and every order. You'll get exactly what you ordered, or DoorDash will make it right. So sit back and enjoy quality groceries just like you picked them yourself. And if you want even more value, you can save on all your grocery and restaurant favorites with a $0 delivery fee on all eligible orders with a Dash Pass membership. With easy substitutions right in the app and best-in-class customer service, DoorDash delivers groceries exactly how you want it. DoorDash is coming in hot with 50% off your first DoorDash order up to a $20 value when you use code SIPFALL at checkout. Limited time offer, terms apply. That's 50% off up to a $20 no minimum subtotal and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code SIPFALL. Don't forget that's code SIPFALL for 50% off your first order with DoorDash. Hello you guys, I'm jumping on to talk about HelloFresh. With HelloFresh you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You skip those daunting trips to the grocery store and you can always count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable, which is also why it happens to be America's number one meal kit. This new fall season calls for new meals and HelloFresh has you covered. You can take your pick from 40 weekly recipes that suit your lifestyle, from veggie to family friendly and even fit and wholesome. HelloFresh is more than just dinners. You can also stock your fridge with easy breakfasts, quick lunches and fresh snacks. Just shop HelloFresh Market and add any of these tasty time-saving solutions to your weekly box. With HelloFresh, you know you're getting top-notch produce since it travels from the farm to your doorstep in less than seven days. I'm so in love with HelloFresh, I can always rely on them to deliver me a recipe that I can execute as a non-chef that's delicious and healthy, especially on those busy work weeks. So go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 the sip and use code 50 the sip for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. That's HelloFresh.com slash 50 the sip and use code 50 the sip for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Uh, here on is this Ooh, better hurry before the line fills up. Oh, they're coming in from the back side. Oh my side. god, girl, girl, girl. Go, 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 go. Okay, there we go. One, take two. One, take two, B camera. Oh, we're at my favorite place. Dutch Brothers! <laughs> it really is his favorite place, and he makes me come here every day because they're not on Postmates. Dutch Brothers, this is a plead for you to save my life and get on. What the hell? They changed that to back to school. That's, wow. No, it's for like raising money for kids. I know, but that used to be... Ooh. Which Ryland hates doing. <laughs> uh, caramel pumpkin brulee freeze. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Sweater weather chai. Mm. Which pumpkin one are we gonna get? Pie. Mm. Oh, there's a cotton candy drink. We have to try that. Well, I'll take a vampire slayer. That's not fall. I'm taking a vampire slayer. Vampire slayer. slayer, that's fun. Pumpkin and salted caramel with soft top. And should I get the chai or the cold brew pumpkin? It's chai. Sweater weather chai. Okay. And I'll. Okay. Wow, we're about to Can have you do a that? lot of drink. What? No, just Honestly, one second. Not like you can. Maybe it's because I'm botched right now. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, this is more in the party line. Are you having a baby shower or at least a celebration for the babies? No. If Lizzie has a word in it. I've tried. I begged for like a good few weeks, day in and day out. And, you're and not, every third word I would say, okay, I'll stop pressing for it, but do you want one? You're not even interested in that, Shane? Really? No. You do? Well, how about we do one after our babies come, and that's kind of where people can meet the babies. That sounds hectic. A baby reveal. <laughs> a baby? <laughs> well, I... A baby haul! <laughs> Here's the thing about baby showers. I think that's like... I... We're not... O opening gifts is my least favorite thing in the world anyways. Well, but no, like, we can have a we have not gift-centered one. But having to open diapers and react to that, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I you can do, we could do like a no gifts one where people just come and they write in a baby book like things for Jet and Max that they get when they're older in life and we put like Polaroid pictures of everyone in there and how excited we are for the boys. We could also execute like, execute like the carnival idea where it's like m just more of a party for people. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of work. Okay. I'll, I'll do it. How, how many kids are we going to have? That's hard. I don't know. I think I go back and forth. Sometimes I think four. Sometimes I'm like, well, maybe we won't have any more. I don't know. M any more? <laughs> Ryland. I want at least three. 
Well, no, me, me too, me too. But I'm just saying, like, you never know. Like, no, and that, actually, Lizzie and I were having this conversation yesterday. I was like, well, ideally at least three, but we gotta get, we gotta. Yeah, like, what if we, we gotta see how what two if, go? What if we're like, wow, we need to dedicate our time to these two, and if we bring in another one, like, or more, or like, because knowing us, we bring in two more, and that's a lot. I right. don't know. Mm -hmm. I always liked the idea of having a baby that was like maybe from a surrogate and then a baby that was adopted. That was like my dream thing yeah. always, but I don't know yeah. if it's going to happen. I don't Let me know talk to cards for me. <laughs> Are you going to record him, the guy taking your order? Because I want them to hear like the question of the day thing. Because I think some people don't believe us. Watch, What's and the then we're not going to get it. Well, just Dutch Brothers is very is overtly riddle? talkative. But they have to. Like the employees don't want to do it either, but they have to. So they're like... Hey, like, hey, welcome to this What's your favorite color? <laughs> and they'll be like, what are you up to today? And you're like, oh, nothing much. And they'll be like, oh, what's your favorite bird? And I'm like, oh, I can't pick just one. Well, that is a good question. <laughs> and then they're like, Gross. They're, they're, my social anxiety is peaking. They'll right stop now. at nothing. This is why I used to do drugs to interact with the Postmates. <laughs> and that's why I hate that they're not on Postmates because I love their coffee, but sometimes I don't want to interact before my coffee. I don't think we've coffee. had this boy It's before. happening. It's happening. We've no, had this boy I mean, before. Oh, no, yeah, we have. He's so cute. Hi, how are you guys? Good. How are you? Doing pretty good. Can I grab a name real quick? Yeah, Ryan. Ryan, you got Ryan. it. Right, the straight. Yeah. <laughs> Stop, Ryan. <laughs> what a drink. Can we that? get one of the small chais, the like seasonal one, Lizzie? All the Vampire Slayer. For sure. What else for you guys? Um, a pumpkin salted caramel. Salted pump caramel pumpkin brulee. Oh, with like, soft top. Yeah. You got it. And then just a large cold brew with nothing in it. Large cold brew with nothing in it. You got it. And a medium cold brew with nothing in it. Wow. Medium cold brew with nothing. In it. You guys got it. Those are our real drinks. I know. It's gonna be 3148 for you guys today. Okay. Thanks, okay. brother. I'm gonna give you my iPad. You get to play with her. You guys are all set. You guys have one. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Wow, I couldn't love him more. I know, and he didn't do the question thing because I think he was stressed because we had so much going on. Yeah. They but, will up here though while they're waiting oh, for our drinks to be made. They get paid $30 an hour. Everything in such good moods. Also, I forgot your window was open. We <laughs> were talking about him. That was weird. <laughs> Lizzie's no, like I edging for that guy, so it's no, fun. not in a creepy way. Not in a creepy was, way? Like, he's like a sweet boy. Like, yeah. I, I would be grateful if that were my son. It's us. To turn oh, it's on. us. Make sure you grind those tires. <laughs> Shut up. No, they have a little ledge That's here, so That's I won't fight. do that. This is my car, right? <laughs> yeah, Riley you? has crashed this car every fucking day. If I crashed his car, it would be over yep. for me. But, like, what would you do if I took your car, swerved, Hit curbs every day, scratched the rims every day. What it's would you do? something about this car specifically. The rims come outside of the tires, and I'm the one that's always driving. And I've told you before you sell this car, I'm gonna replace them. But it doesn't make sense to replace them now because 100% matter of fact, I'm gonna hit the curb again. And <laughs> did you see the little dig? What? <laughs> I'm the one that drives. Well, I literally the other day I was like, "What well, can you drive today?" And you were like, "No." I did. Just for the record. Shane drove us home last night. Yeah. Oh, well, that's because I, that's the only way is if I And I drive smooth, night. baby. Shane, when did you get your driver's license? Mm -hmm. Uh, the day I turned, whatever that age 16. was. 16. And when did you stop liking driving? When I broke my leg in 2015, I had to Uber everywhere. And I realized, I'm like, I can get so much done. I got yeah. my, my, my emails, I can do my thing. And then ever since then, I was like, eh, I'll just fucking Uber. So, and then I got an Uber. <laughs> That was like I used to take the subway to work, and I, I've got more done in that amount of time than I ever had in my entire life. Yeah. So, yeah. And driving is like, I like driving when I'm alone, though, sometimes, because it is fun to, like, you know, daydream. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> no, so often I'm driving, and I'm like, oh, my God, how did I get here? That's yes, so not same. good. Yikes. I hate when that happens. Yeah. Somebody did ask, do you guys make up fights just for content? <laughs> Genuinely curious. No. no. Certified dysfunction. I, here, guys. I feel like our fights aren't like blowouts, though, that are like problems. If like, we had a big blowout problem fight, I wouldn't talk about it. No. That would be bad. Yeah. So we I have little fun fights. Mm -hmm. I'd say the most heated we've gotten that was right below a blowout is anytime we talk about the blue black dress thing. Um. Oh. Because you know he's what? so it's stubborn. It's too soon for me. Too. It's too soon. <laughs> he's so stubborn. He can't. He, you know what I mean? Shh, Chris, don't make it on. Okay, well, Lizzie was asking me this morning, like, so Shane's not afraid of, like, he's not afraid of having kids? And I was like, not that he's expressed to me in any way. And I was like, but that has to be, like, you're not, you have no fears? No. Should I? <laughs> I mean, it's just a lot. Do you want me to I share? Don't the fears I think you should have. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What if yeah. they're cringy? Oh yeah, Lizzie. What if you have a kid that's just inherently cringy? 
I know what you're saying. Yeah, and by the time they're old enough to talk, they're going to be doing like, because I'm cringed out by current TikTok culture. See, What's that's the what one I that said, people say I, right now? Yeah, like I would try to be okay with my son being Bryce Hall, and like I'd be like, it's oh. fine, he's rich. <laughs> I see. But I see. like, I don't know that I could handle having a son like Bryce Hall. I remember. Oh, cook. Uh, let him cook. He's cooking. What? Look at him cook right now. Oh, I have heard that. He's it, cooking it's right It's taken now. me a long that, time to get to like... That makes me want to die. So I was watching a live stream of somebody talking about a movie trailer, and then all the comments started being like, wait, they're cooking. No, wait, but they're cooking right now. Oh my God, wait, look at them cooking. And I wanted to fucking cook my fucking head and kill myself. <laughs> Is this going to be something I'm like hip to though, four months no, from now? No, no. Because like... Cook with place eight? I did hate the like... <laughs> it the... did. Wait, that's confusing. <laughs> It seems think, like a reverse order. Right. Like, knowing me, I'll say I hate something and then it will be a part of my life. Here is the first drink carrier for you. Thank I left out the sweater runner. Okay. I just I okay. feel called out because I say the math's not math. Anymore. Oh, that's perfect. The worst. <laughs> is it but everybody does it. Kids, guys, have a good one, okay? wow, you too. You got your sweater weather? Your practice weather. Uh, that's the sweater weather, okay. I believe. Yeah, the math is mathing is really annoying, and they say it on Big Brother all the time. Like, the chai is chai. Big Brother, they're like, the math ain't mathing. And I'm like, oh, and it's always like a 50-year-old woman saying it. I'm like, I can't do this. I thought it was funny. But you know what? It is just How a is it funny? Can we explain know. to me what is funny? About okay, it? but it's just a representation of us getting old, because like the last <laughs> round of this, we were in on, even if it was like satirical. I mean, we never flaked. And you know now, what I mean? now we're just. Like, <laughs> we I feel like we're just a little old now, and we're like, you know, we're like those people that are like. But I, here's the, the thing, though. I'm fine with getting old. Like, I don't, I'm not one of those people who's like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm old, or oh my god, time, oh my god, I'm so old, and I'm not hip anymore, and I'm not whatever. Like, I'm okay with being old because I feel like I've already done everything I should probably do. I Shane, we're having kids. That's why. People <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I believe Ooh, that's yours. Hell yeah, it is. Uh, this one's Chrissy's. I am gonna need a little drink of that. Mmm. Slayer's so young. No. You lost the whole soft top. Oh. Well, that's okay. That's the it's way gone. the cookie crumbled. Shoot. That's okay. It's fine. What was this one called? I don't remember. No, uh, pumpkin and salted caramel Something with soft top. Soft top. Mm -hmm. It's a sweater. <laughs> Does someone need another cup? Wow, that's incredible. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, if it's up. good, do you want more? I don't want to... No, no, no. I, I have more things to Can drink. I stop fighting. This is the best pumpkin drink we've had all season. This is pumpkin? It's a... I don't know. Oh, it's pumpkin with salted caramel and soft top. Oh, that's like ice cream. Mm. That's good. literally tastes like... Do you like the nuts. flavor? That, I mean, I'm not going to shame you. Do you like the flavor? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I can't trust her anymore. It's my favorite. It's you don't want to try it? Wow. I'm kind of over it. Delit. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm having fun, but I'm just like stressing out. I'm getting out. sick. Okay. This one's great. I mean, it smells good. The chai. You like chai, right? Yeah. I remember, I've tried all these, now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> oh, a year ago, we got all these. You tried all these? I don't like chai. I tried all these. I decided I don't like chai. Can I try Oh my god, I tried that. That's going to be a I thing, Lizzie. That. The chai is not chaiing. It's the like chai sour not and chai. No bitter. one cooked here. <laughs> <laughs> cooked. Sorry, Chris. No I cooked. forgot to pour this in something mm, this for you. This is so good. Ooh, I have to this pee isn't bad. Really this is bad. just like a tart tea. A oh, tart you didn't get tea. a, a hardcore tart top. tea. Oh, you can piss. just put your mouth on the thing. What's the soft top? It's incredible. It's probably just cream. Wow, that's delicious. Yeah, that's that's what was it? spot. That's the Slayer, bro. The slight. The, oh, the Slayer. What kind of Slayer? Vampire. Wow, that is spooky. One girl in all the world. Okay, so this pumpkin drink is everything. Go so do one. you and Lizzie fight? All the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> About what? We're probably fighting right now. Um, <laughs> wow, this is so incredible. 20 out of 10, the best fall drink we've ever had. Which one's that? The one that you ordered, Chris. Oh, really? Do you not agree? I love it. I, I don't know. I'm wow. so excited. It's good. <laughs> Wait, um, so what do you guys fight about? What was your last fight about? I feel like they're violently innocuous, but because we're both Tauruses, at some point, one of us has to decide to Taurus less. Mm. But you know what? I think outside of Shane, my healthiest relationship is you, because before I build up like a bunch of anger or anything, I call you. Like, I, I never, like, build up resentment with you. I call you right away. And I also don't think we have, like, what we fight about is so fucking stupid, but <laughs> we get really passionate about. Like, I can just think of times where it's like, like, for example, you saying the girl that just came forward about being asked to be the Taylor Swift impersonator, that was a fight we had. Oh. What? No, we do have tense moments on the yeah. podcast where we do disagree. The girl that came... It's over nothing, really. But just trust that Rylan's wrong. 
What's, <laughs> give me the fight so I can determine. You want to relive this? Okay, so there's a girl that looks like Taylor Swift, and she pretended to be Taylor Swift in public for a vlog. And yes. Was, and Somebody yeah. else's. Like, remember when I've they seen did that with clip, Justin Bieber? I've seen a clip of... Is this the girl who, like... I've only seen one clip, but she was on the street, and a little girl's like, Taylor, and she's like, no, I, I'm not Taylor. Uh -huh, I just dress just like her. I'm wearing my makeup just like her to trick everyone. Exactly, and she had plastic surgery to look like her, but... No. So, yeah. so the fight really? was... Yeah. That's nuts. So... I mean, then, sorry, I don't want to shame. So she teamed up. She was a hired actress from this company to make a well, video. Well, hired about, implies she was paid and she was not. She, okay, I didn't yes. know. We did not have that detail when we were talking right. about it. Um, but she, a production, got her to do this, and a she said got yes. Her to do this. Another Taylor Swift impersonator came out and said she they called her first. She went on TikTok and she's like, "That company actually called me first, but I'm above." And I was like, "That's equally as bad because she still wants all the attention from it." No, Shane, and she's on a platform. Worse. That's he said getting the girl coming forward was worse. I like stopped listening. See, that, that's why I said you're not. Well, gonna... that's my point. Like that's our fights, and I could I could be authentically upset right now and argue with him because I think he's About so wrong. Taylor but it doesn't Swift matter. Taylor Swift impersonators. Yes, <laughs> but it's how he sees it. But like real tension comes from like sometimes the podcast, and when we have that kind of tension, I'll just pick up the phone and call you, and that's yeah. how we work it out. I feel yeah. like the technical things cause real fights. Well, it's been very hard. Like. And even just me in general, like we haven't been in one place at all oh for God, so long. Oh my God, you have a white hair. <gasps> oh, I have so many. Oh my God, you have a whitey. That <laughs> might be my first ever that oh I know. Oh my God, not. did we give it to you today? <laughs> oh no, Ryland, sorry. Your age is showing. Ew, you're getting old. Wow. <laughs> you're like Uno. Time I'm proud of so my fast. age. Oh. I'm proud of your age too. <sighs> Another question. <laughs> I'm still marrying Chris. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know when you have to pee so bad that the pee just goes back into your body and then you don't have to pee anymore? Yes. And That's then when scary. you go to pee, it's like kind of tough. Hurts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what's oh. happening. Is that my fault? Probably. There's a new Baja Blast ice cream. Wow. All right. Go I have it in the out. freezer in LA. <gasps> no, you don't. I You're do. freezing it? How'd you get it there? Well, it's like a gelato. Oh my gosh. The no way. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have told you guys. <laughs> don't worry, I got four of them. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know if it's going to hold up for them. Yeah, all the food things are always a surprise for me. Mm -hmm. I never know what's coming. I like to keep you on your toes, Chris. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. Lord, Lizzie was going to tell me, ask me about things that scare me about kids. Oh, oh. she was going to tell you the things you should be you scared should be about. Yeah. Well, the what first else? one was cringy. The second one is just really dark. What? what? Oh. Just losing the kid to anything at any point for the rest of your life. Yeah, I'm, well, no, I'm just saying the stress is immediate. Like, I felt that since our surrogate has been pregnant, just like, even that I, even though I can't control it, it is like this, it is this stress. And then when they're born, it's going to be for the rest of forever that you're worried about your kids. My mom yeah. still calls me when she hears sirens from an ambulance, you yeah. know? My mom does that too. And it's just like... No one's ever called me when they heard a siren. I know me neither. <laughs> Shane, you want me to call you? <laughs> We can be our siren buddies. My mom will have a bad dream and call me and be like, are you okay? I had a bad dream. My mom is, well, mm, I'm trying to think. I guess she was kind of a worrier when I was little. But I think me and her have the same thoughts on, like, everything happens for a reason and you can't change it and it just is what it is. And it's like, so I feel like... I'm just not going to go into it with that fear because then that fear is just going to take over and right. it's going to ruin my excitement for having the kids. And you're comforting in that regard to me because it is like you constantly are reminding me these are things you can't control i mean i know with newborns they there are some things you can control and you do need to have like the safest practices possible and i am trying to learn like absolutely everything i can for the care of newborns but it is like in the grand scheme of everything like you can't control life no we could literally all die tomorrow like okay. the world well, could explode no, but, well i don't think it, like i what he's saying actually brings me a great deal of comfort because that's what i struggle with the most is just accepting life on life's terms mm. so when you talk like that with so much faith in it it actually makes me feel better well that's what i'm saying because i'm more like you and he talks me off that ledge and is like and you and i come back down to here. earth <laughs> And it's just interesting because we like spiral about different things, I feel, which is complimentary. You just have to trust the universe because even when something bad happens, even if it's horrible, at some point you'll see the reason for it. And I know some things are unexplainably bad and it's hard to see the reason, so I can't say it for everything. But for the bad things that have happened in, in my life, even the worst things, 
like it really does change your perspective on things and it makes you appreciate things and it makes you realize things and everything does happen for a reason I think yeah you know. let's go watch Steel Magnolias <laughs> well I rate you guys all 10 out of 10s <gasps> look he came around and we're friends again <laughs> what do you mean we've always been friends we were awful at the beginning of this <laughs> That was only like 20 minutes ago. It was me? <laughs> what did I do to you? Everyone, raise your hand if you feel personally victimized <laughs> by Ryan Adams in this car today. I'm just kidding. No, you're so nice. Wow. I've had it with all of you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyone have anything else? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love Who you. was the meanest today? Probably Chris, <laughs> right? Who, uh, yeah, Chris. 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 Who For was sure. the, um,. Who was the nicest? Oh, Probably me. Lizzie. <laughs> but, uh, Lizzie for sure. You were. Actually, Lizzie, you were very nice today. <laughs> Thank you, Shane. Um, no, in real life, though, I know Lizzie runs her mouth and sounds life. a great... No, I'm saying, like, in a podcast form where we're, like, sitting down and, like, telling stories to... That guy's to... car says Milf Hunter on Wow. <laughs> I'm right here, baby. And he has a girlfriend in the car. Yeah. But I'm saying, uh, although... Uh, while we're trying to be entertaining, Lizzie can sometimes come off as uh, Lizzie. <laughs> I would say you have one of the biggest hearts I know. Like, you're the first to be like, if something goes wrong in my life, you'll drop everything, meet me there. You'll go out of your way to do something for me. You show up for the people in your life. Did you hit something? Yeah, it sounds like we're dragging something. <laughs> <laughs> Are we dragging an animal? Well, if we were, it's gone out. There it is. Oh, no, wait, what was it? I ran, th I was going through the mud. Oh, okay. Now there's mud. <laughs> oh my god, it sounds like a it sounds like a cat. Oh no. No, I You are the meanest. <laughs> <laughs> and Shane was the victim. That finally. <laughs> Dreams do come I've been true. Been waiting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well Bye. <laughs> No, follow all of us on social media. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of the podcast. Make sure you're following Shane's podcast, watching his second channel, and there should be a fun main channel video coming up soon, if it is what I just witnessed if myself. We're not all in court. <laughs> yeah. Right. I'm so excited to watch um, that. I'll put all of our links in the description section below. Thank you so much for watching and supporting our podcast. We'll see you next week. We love you very much. Ooh. Goodbye. What? I just have one last thing. What? I think when you guys do food episodes, you should call the episodes the chew <gasps> there was a daytime oh, talk show we are dragging oh something God. honey <laughs> we are literally <laughs> dragging a body behind us this is not good i want one of you to drive for once when we do these i episodes. don't think it's your fault that we are dragging something but i do uh, think that evidence would point to the fact that we have something trailing our car right now and that's the chew <laughs> okay and that's this the chew. it oh do you want to do it for real? I, well, I thought I love. You're just so that much. ready to change our podcast name with a suggestion. A good idea is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and that's, that's the chew. chew. Oh my uh. god. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> Let's harmonize. No, Lizzie, I'm uh, sick of you. Uh, okay. uh. Oh, he came in. <laughs> All right, toodles. Bye. I'll see you bitches at Red Lobster.